In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Unto the King of Ages, the immortal, invisible, and only God, be honor and glory forever and ever. Amen. Have mercy on me, O God, according to your steadfast love. According to your abundant mercy, blot out my transgressions. Wash me thoroughly from my iniquity, and cleanse me from my sin. For I know my transgressions, and my sin is ever before me. Against you, you alone, have I sinned, and done what is evil in your sight, so that you are justified in your sentence, and blameless when you pass judgment. Indeed, I was born guilty, a sinner, when my mother conceived me. You desire truth in the inward being. Therefore, teach me wisdom in my secret heart. Purge me with hyssop, and I shall be clean. Wash me, and I shall be whiter than snow. Let me hear joy and gladness. Let the bones that you have crushed rejoice. Hide your face from my sins, and blot out all my iniquities. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and put a new and right spirit within me. Do not cast me away from your presence, and do not take your Holy Spirit from me. Restore to me the joy of your salvation, and sustain me in a willing spirit. Then I will teach transgressors your ways, and sinners will return to you. Deliver me from bloodshed, O God, O God of my salvation, and my tongue will sing aloud of your deliverance. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth will declare your praise. For you have no delight in sacrifice. If I were to give a burnt offering, you would not be pleased. The sacrifice acceptable to God is a broken spirit, a broken and contrite heart, O God, you will not despise. Do good to Zion in your good pleasure. Rebuild the walls of Jerusalem. Then you will delight in right sacrifices, in burnt offerings and whole burnt offerings. Then bulls will be offered on your altar. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Of your tender mercy we beseech you, O Lord, loose the bonds of our sins. And through the intercession of Mary, the blessed and ever-Virgin Mother of God, together with that of St. Joseph, and your blessed Apostles Peter and Paul, and of all your saints, keep us, your servants, in our dwelling places in all holiness. Cleanse from sin, and endow with virtue all those who are joined to us by kindred, affinity, and friendship. Grant unto us peace and safety, remove far from us our enemies, both visible and invisible. Repress all our carnal desires, grant us wholesome air, bestow your charity upon our friends and enemies, guard your city, preserve our pontiff Pope Francis, defend all prelates, priests, and your entire Christian people from every adversity. Let your blessing be evermore upon us, and grant unto all the faithful departed Rest everlasting. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of sorrows, the Crucified is with thee. Tearful art thou amongst women, and tearful is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of the Crucified, give tears to us, crucifiers of thy Son, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Saint Joseph, help us to never lose Jesus. But if we lose sight of him because of our sins, Lead us back to him with unwearied sorrow, so that in the end we, like you, may pass from this life in the arms of Jesus and Mary. Amen. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray, 
And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. May the Lord bless us, protect us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Here